All right. So this is gonna be my first official update of my 80 gallon rimless shallow reef that I set up a couple of months ago, the beginning of uh, the end of September, actually. Uh, actually, it was the beginning of September. Uh, ordered this, this tank from Custom Aquariums, uh, I think based in uh, Wisconsin. Uh, I actually found them through uh, another YouTuber, Fish, Fish of Hex, Travis. He had his 300 uh, sponsored by them. He seemed to be happy with it. So, you know, I've been doing research, research, research. They seem to be the best price. I did get a quote from Reef Savvy. Got a, got a quote from Miracle Aquariums in, in Canada. And uh, it seemed like uh, I, all of my research, there's a lot of good reviews on customaquariums.com. Uh, so I, I ended up going with them. They were about 400, 500 bucks cheaper shipped, uh, to the local, uh, shipping, shipping, uh, dock about five minutes from my house. So I went with them. Uh, I, I was looking at glasscages.com, but I just, between the reviews and so on and so forth, I didn't want to risk it. But this is gonna be probably a, a little bit longer of an update because I wanna give an update of all the coral that I have going on in here. Uh, equipment update, pretty much everything that I've done thus far with this system. Uh, just to document my progress in terms of coral, in terms of uh, equipment that I've added, equipment that I'm happy with, equipment that I might change out. <clears throat> And uh, this is just going to serve as, you know, my video documentation. And, and you know, if it helps someone, then, then good. There's water box. This is my den area. Uh, we moved into this house about last year. And I had thought that I would do everything downstairs. Moved my, my whole 180 system with quarantine, with frag tank, all that stuff. And it was just way too freaking hot downstairs, so I decided to sell everything, sell all my coral, restart, build a whole perfect system in my den area upstairs so the whole family can, can enjoy it. So let's do the equipment uh, overview quick first. So this is a stand that I, that I built myself. It's not, you know, it's not perfect, but it does the job. Um, I had to put these locks on here because my year and a half year old loves to open the stand and go into the filtration and and uh try to put his hands of course in the sump so i don't want to have that so i had to put these little locks on here i don't even have a lock i just put a carabiner he's not at the point where he can open this just yet probably have to put a lock at one point so this is the back side of the sump uh right now i probably will not keep this online for for a lot longer but I did buy a JBO, uh, I think 35 or 40 watt um, UV sterilizer when I first set up the tank, just because I wanted to, you know, between between all the algae uh, and the, you know the cycling and all the that ugly phase, I was trying to decrease that ugly phase, uh, a bulk resup of supply, and uh, they just did that you know, three, four part series on, on, on UV and comparisons with the control of not using one and then using one in different flow rates. So I figured I'd throw that on there. It wasn't too much money. It was probably about 60 or 70 bucks. Uh, but like I said, I don't think I'll keep that for too long. And then I got a crappy JBO four state or four, uh, four head doser. This is something that I will likely switch out pretty soon. And then I got my acrylic. I guess this was an Amazon. I got my mag, alk, and calc going. You know, I have been doing a lot of research in terms of uh, calcium reactors and watching, you know, Devin and Reef dudes always talking about it. Rico Aquariums talking about it, how easy it is, so on and so forth. I just have not bit the bullet to, uh, to figure out the whole system. This is the backside, uh, so I'll go around to the front. 
or the other side of the front of the sump to uh, to go over go over the rest of the equi uh, equipment under the tank. Uh, so actually, I'll go to the control panel. So I built this control panel. It's definitely not the best, but it does the job. Uh, got my got my whole setup in terms of. Uh, it being labeled and I can individually switch switch off with my previous builds. I've always, you know, had my uh, my my outlet, uh, my six six string outlet, and I always had to unplug and plug back in, and I was done with all that crap. So I figured I would do the switches. I like the switches a lot more. I did have an apex on my last system. I liked it. I might get another one just for the redundancy. But I did end up selling it because, you know, I, I ended up not using it as much. I did like that I could tell us, see, you know, how, how my system is, you know, in terms of temperature and, and pH. But I did feel like I, I didn't utilize it to its fullest potential. So I kind of just was like, you know what, I'll maybe at one point I'll get it again. But here we got Refugium. I'm running the AI Prime Fuge Light. Uh, I'll show you guys that. I got three Radeons XR 15s Gen 4s going. I got my MP40 Ecotech uh, going on my left. It's a peninsula, peninsula style reef, so that's on the that's actually on the right side, and then the Nero 5 AI on the left side. UV and uh, my skimmer, and that's a NIOS uh, I think 120 skimmer, and I'll show you guys that heater fans. Uh, my my cabinet lights, uh, my reflank. This is actually just a. Uh, I don't. This is actually my camera for my 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 nanny cam on my on my tank. My doser return, which is a S1 uh, quiet drive uh, Ecotech. I forget what that what that's rated at. And then my ATO, which is the standalone Neptune Apex ATO, which I love. Um, but then here's my cab lights. I ended up buying this for like 20 bucks on Amazon. Very good purchase because it just gets so freaking dark. Uh, and then I got my pinpoint uh, pH. I don't know how accurate this is. I, I calibrated it a couple times. You know, I, I'm happy with anything over 8.1. And it doesn't get too much lower than 8.1. I think with all the fresh air I have up here opening the doors, now it's getting to be winter where I am now. So it, it's... I, I don't get as much fresh air, but I'm, I'm happy with how that is. So I got my whole system up. It's not as beautiful as I'd like it to be, but it, you know, it's there. It's, it's a lot better than I've had previously. So I'll keep my cab lights on. I haven't, haven't yet put something on here. So my son always likes to go in there and switch crap off. It freaks me out. There's that nanny cam that I was talking about. This was about 20 bucks or 30 bucks on Amazon. And I love it because I can at least see, all right, let's make sure that Electricity hasn't gone out or whatever. I want to see the, you know, some of the fish swimming, and you know, I don't get to see much, but I, I do appreciate. I have thought it's probably obnoxious to do it, but I have thought about to save me the money on the Apex thus or just yet. Thought about buying another one of these and then putting putting a thermometer right in front of it. So I just had one that literally told me the temperature because the, really the temperature has been the only concern that I've, I've generally had in terms of seeing when I'm away from the tank, seeing the temperature. Uh, there was one, I don't know when it was, uh, a couple weeks ago when I actually had, so here's the sump, when I actually had come in and my heat, my heat controller, I think I got this on Amazon. Bulk Reef Supply uh, sells it. I know they just came out with their own. I think it's on back order or something. But this was actually not even on. Uh, it was completely off. So this has a nice control system where it's, you know, if it goes over over two degrees over my target, it starts beeping two degrees under my target beeping. Keep the tank around 77, generally in the main display because I have, I keep my turnover pretty pretty small. I'm not I'm not doing a crazy turnover in terms of, um, it, you know, uh, from the the sump to the to the to the main display. So my my main display is probably around 65.5. Um, right now it's 60 63.3. I, actually, I don't think it 
kicks on unless it's a degree off. So right when it goes to 70, or sorry, not 65, 76, uh, point zero, then it kicks on to, to, to get closer to that 77. So it's kind of married between 76 and 78. So whenever it's in that, that, that area, it doesn't really do much. So, you know, I've thought about getting maybe another one of these just, so I, I don't know if it was the connection between the three prong into my, into my, uh, my strip, because when I switched the connection to where it was, it, it it started, it was fine, it was working, because when I was wiggling it, it wasn't working, or it started to work, and then when I switched the connection, it was working. So I'm thinking that maybe I'll buy another one of these, this is about 30 bucks, or I'll get the bulk reef supply, and I won't even have it hooked up to a heater, and it'll almost just be an alarm for me. Because again, if I'm looking in my, my camera and I'm not home, I can at least see that, or hear that alarm. So, yeah, that's that's where I'm at with the heater. So this, I was ambitious with how I wanted to do wire management. Of course, that that didn't work out as well. I'm thinking about taking out these fans. I don't think it's necessary. I, obviously, we're in the winter, so I'm not as worried about it. And I'll probably worry more about it when I'm in the summer. But I thought about even just hanging it where, where my lights are, putting one during the summer. Of course, it's kind of an eyesore, but it is what it is. So I got my Ecotech battery back, back up. That... You know, it's about 14 pounds, so it was a little heavy mounting that, and I got all my power bricks bricks up there. I know, in terms of the heat exchange during the the during the summer, it was getting a little toasty up there. I I have thought about, you know, once I bring out the UV sensor, uh, uh, UV sterilizer, that power brick brick is shoved up there, and once I rip that out, that'll that'll decrease the heat much more. And then I do have kind of a vent system behind my control panel so some of that heat can get out and I have turned on one of these fans to the power bricks to keep it cool but there's the doser there's the front I got this off eBay I think for I don't know 40 bucks the guy never used it I think it was a hundred bucks it does the job uh, you know I was looking at the NIOS 0.75 uh, I like those but I, I just was trying to save money where I could, but not sacrifice too much. So this is not too bad. So what I have is my my main return, the S1, Ecotech S1 goes in, and then here's one baffle that goes down to the UV. So at one point when I take that out, I'll have that open. I probably won't even put anything back on it. And then I got this baffle that comes down around into the carbon. I'm just running carbon. That's that's all I generally run. I never fool around with GFO. Get my fuge. I, I try to do as little as possible. Not because I'm lazy, but because I want to not screw anything up. So the GFO, yeah, never never dabbled with that. So I, I've really I like this. I did like I did have the two. Uh, I had a BRS, uh, their BRS hang on or whatever uh, uh, carbon reactor or whatever, you know, uh, uh, canister or whatever. And I, I didn't really like it. I, I, you know, I liked that it was so affordable. I just didn't like that I had to get that big tool to twist it off. And I always mounted it on the stand and I never, I never felt like I could, I, I could uh, just crank it off without me feeling like I'm moving my stand or something. It's probably me just being too dramatic. But anyway, I, this is doing the job. At one point when I can afford it, I, I may likely put another, uh, put the NIOS, uh, the NIOS reactor next to the NIOS skimmer. This skimmer is, I know I, I wish I had a little bit bigger. I, I do wish, this is I think the 120. I wish I had the 150, I think. Uh, Devin from Reef Dudes, I know, had the 120 for a while. And he said he tested it, he loved it, but he wanted that bigger. Now his, his system's a, a bit bigger than mine, but, uh, I do have some, a good amount of fish. I might add a couple more. I, I do think that a little bit more of the power would be good, but this stuff, this, this pulls out so much. I love it so much. It's so quiet. It's so easy to tune. I mean, it pulls out so much gross junk. This, I really tuned it back and this is just dark. It is like coffee grounds. Uh, it's so freaking dark. This is about, I think, 
four or five days or four days. Um, it's really nice though. So I got the Neptune uh, ATK, which is a standalone. So you can run it with the Apex, you don't need the Apex. What I do have is my line, I'm not gonna show you guys, or show that today, but I have my line that goes down under my floor. This is an addition, uh, a part of my house. Goes down under my floor, goes into the main basement, and then I have a you know, 40 or 50 gallon uh, container that holds my, my fresh RODI water. Which is a, sh you know, a shame when we moved here. I, I used to have a pretty easy system because my, my water wasn't as dirty, but here it's extremely dirty and it's, you know, it's low pressure. So I had to get the seven stage, spend all this stuff for, 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 for the water, but I'm glad I did it. And I got the, the pump booster. So I pump out water so easy, but when I'm doing water changes as well, I'll put a, a trash can up here and, uh, and I'll generally just, I have this. So I, I have a valve shut off valve, bring this on, put it in the, uh, attach it to the brute make 20 gallons in, in a few hours, mix it, change the water, it's done, done in, in 15 minutes, which is great. Um, so to finish up down here, yeah, I got this uh, flipper that I had on my old system. I never sold it. It's way overkill. It's just to clean the glass. But I got a big fuge here, or not a big fuge, but I got a nice fuge. This AI Prime fuge is the best light I've had. I, I had the Kessel H80. This is like, Incredible. I mean, it's the the, uh, the Kato has been growing like crazy. I have Calerpa in there. I've got uh, the grape grape algae or whatever it's called. I got a bunch of stuff in there, and uh, and this this fuge is just fuge light is growing growing stuff like crazy, which is beautiful. Uh, and then I got my main chamber, my skimmer, as you can see. Really gotta sweep up that detritus, but. Um, I will at one point, I'm sure uh, Billy Pipes, if he ever saw this, he would be mortified. But I, I do have to take, I've been trying to figure out how I'm gonna do my, my maintenance. So with this build, I'm trying to be really anal about everything. So, you know, maybe every month, pulling out the skimmer, pulling out the return pump, and really giving that a bath, and vacuuming out the, uh, the detritus. Got my filter shot socks. I only have, so I have my, this is my main drain. I'm doing the, what is the Herbie method or the Herbie plus method, whatever. Main drain, emergency drain, and then this is the uh, drain with the gate valve so I can really tune it perfectly. Uh, and then this is actually a uh, Bash C sump, acrylic sump, and I really, it looks dirty now, but I really like it. It was such a clean, unfortunately I didn't take any video of just the unpackaging but it's such a clean package job and it's a clean sump. Uh, it does the job, I like, I like the sleekness of it. Unfortunately, I, I feel like with the baffle system, you don't really get it and when it's all just piled in here, you don't see that, that sleekness. But yeah, that's about it under, under, the, under the stand. I have the, uh, where's that? Uh, uh, the, the, I forget what they're called, the pads or whatever to, I don't even know what they're called. The bricks, the bricks that uh, that 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 host all of my uh, beneficial bacteria. Um, I got my sulfur uh, test kits. Got my Red Sea. I'm always doing an IOA. I'm essentially checking myself. I'm trying to be precise with my measurements. Always checking uh, alk with both because I just I want to be safe as safe as I can when I'm uh, when I'm doing my tests. And I want to be as thorough as I can. So I do I do. Probably test my alk four times, maybe five times a week, and half of those times I'm testing both kits because I want to just be as sure as I can. So that's about under under the hood, um, under the stand, but I'm gonna do updates for myself anyway when I when I change things out. I think the biggest thing that I'm trying to think about changing is is the is the doser i'm thinking about doing a potentially a a camor doser the their standalone forehead doser um but I'm, I'm also holding out for the versa the eco turk versa which is super versatile um but i am a little concerned about how much that's going to cost me as well in the long run because i would have to get at least I, I I am dosing out acro, acro power acro power 
Julian Sprung, uh, Julian Sprung's Acro Power. Um, uh, but I haven't put that on the automatic doser just yet. I got the four heads because I wanted to put that on it, but I, you know, I really don't mind doing that myself. So, um, so at this point, I only I'm only using three heads. But so long story short, short if I'm going to do the verse, I have to get three verses. But you know, it might it might end up working, or maybe I'll just go with the Kimura four head Wi-Fi. The J Bow is just stresses me out because it seems just uh super cheap for for as much as i'm investing in coral i feel like i should be investing in in in, in solid equipment uh, although you know the jbo is not not all all you know people people have success with those as well sorry i had to get my uh charger uh charger to make sure i, I wasn't gonna die so, uh, the main display, just to go over plumbing again, I got a gate valve, I got three. So I like this, this is their uh, stealth box. Uh, so I got three drains, one emergency, one that's on the gate valve, and then ones that's fully, uh, fully open. So it's pretty freaking silent, I love it in that, but I always, I, I generally have to pick whether I'm doing, uh, wanting to make it silent during the day or at the at night because, and you know, if someone sees this and wants to leave a comment and, you know, tell me that I'm being stupid, I essentially change my, for my, 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 uh, my current with 